Have you ever stumbled upon a film that effortlessly captures the frenzy and excitement of a pivotal moment in pop culture? I Want to Hold Your Hand, a 1978 cinematic gem directed by Robert Zemeckis, does just that. As the title subtly suggests, the movie revolves around the infectious Beatlemania and the chaotic quest of a group of teenagers to meet their idols during the legendary band's first appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. Before we delve into the film's random trivia, here's a question for you. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this snapshot of Beatlemania? Perhaps it's a nostalgic recollection of watching the film with friends or family, or a personal connection to the era it vividly portrays. Now, let's explore some intriguing tidbits about the movie. Zemeckis, known for his later blockbuster successes, skillfully weaves together a blend of humor and heart as the characters embark on a madcap journey to witness history. The film not only pays homage to the Beatles, but also serves as a time capsule, capturing the essence of the 60 seconds and the fervor surrounding the iconic band. As you reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your connection with I Wanna Hold Your Hand and let the nostalgia flow. What part of the film resonated with you the most? How did it become a part of your own pop culture narrative? So, join the conversation and relive the magic of Beatlemania through the lens of this timeless film. It's a journey worth sharing and celebrating. I Wanna Hold Your Hand, directed by Robert Zemeckis in 1978, captures the spirited chaos surrounding the Beatles' first appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1964. The film follows a group of enthusiastic teenagers who embark on a madcap adventure to New York City with a singular mission, to get up close and personal with their beloved Beatles. The narrative weaves through a series of comedic misadventures, offering a nostalgic glimpse into the tumultuous excitement of Beatlemania. The ensemble cast, featuring memorable characters like Pam Mitchell and Tony Smirko, brings a dynamic energy to the film, reflecting the frenzy of youth culture in the 60 seconds. Zemeckis' directorial style combines humor, music, and a fast-paced narrative, creating a delightful and entertaining ode to the era. The film's impact on popular culture lies in its ability to capture the essence of a moment in time, immortalizing the hysteria and passion of Beatle fans. The infectious energy and timeless appeal of I Wanna Hold Your Hand continue to resonate with audiences, marking it as a classic portrayal of youthful exuberance and fandom. It remains a testament to the enduring influence of the Beatles and their indelible mark on the cultural landscape, showcasing the magic of music and its ability to transcend generations. The soundtrack of I Wanna Hold Your Hand wasn't just a casual playlist choice for the film. It took nine months of negotiations to secure the rights to all the Beatles songs featured. The filmmakers were determined to capture the authentic essence of the band's music, leading to a meticulous process of legalities. As the movie unfolds, the early car interior scenes offer an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit. Shot in a blacked-out stage with a golf cart simulating weaving headlights, the production team creatively navigated the challenges of bringing the character's road trip to life. Interestingly, the film's title itself has a subtle twist. While the official Beatles song is I Want to Hold Your Hand, the way it's sung often makes the refrain sound like wanna. This auditory nuance influenced the film's title, showcasing a playful connection between the movie and the iconic Beatles track. These behind-the-scenes details add layers to the film, revealing the dedication to authenticity in both music and visuals. I Wanna Hold Your Hand not only captures the chaos of Beatlemania, but also stands as a testament to the intricate efforts invested in recreating the magic of the Beatles on screen. In an unexpected turn on the set of I Wanna Hold Your Hand, the actor slated for the barber scene was a no-show. Quick thinking by Nude Arnold, the first assistant director, led to a seamless resolution. Arnold, flashing his SAG card, quipped, every good first ad, is also a member of SAG, and stepped into the role himself. Meanwhile, the authenticity of the crowd signs expressing love for the Beatles underwent an interesting evolution. Originally crafted by the studio's prop department, the signs looked too polished. The solution. The department head took supplies to his child's school, enlisting kids to create a more genuine display of fan affection. 
Adding another layer to the film's trivia, two of its stars, Wendy Jo Sperber and Mark McClure, later found themselves in supporting roles in the Back to the Future trilogy. The trilogy, written by Bob Gale and Robert Zemeckis, was directed by Zemeckis and produced by Steven Spielberg, showcasing a noteworthy continuation of collaborations among the film's key players. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes highlight the resourcefulness and creativity employed in bringing I Wanna Hold Your Hand to life. Whether it's a last-minute actor switch or a quest for authenticity and fan paraphernalia, the film's production team demonstrated a commitment to making the experience as genuine as the era it aimed to portray, capturing the essence of Beatlemania in a way that endures. Warner Bros. initially hesitated to greenlight I Wanna Hold Your Hand due to their policy against first-time directors, a result of Brian De Palma's box office disappointment. Steven Spielberg's intervention shifted the film to Universal, enabling Robert Zemeckis to direct. The original plan to shoot in New York City fell through due to budget constraints. Despite this, the production team creatively navigated challenges, like simulating car scenes on a blacked-out stage. Interestingly, during the Beatles' limousine scene, a familiar line from A Hard Day's Night is echoed, adding a subtle connection. These behind-the-scenes insights highlight the film's journey from studio struggles to creative solutions, showcasing the determination that brought I Wanna Hold Your Hand to life. In a cost-cutting move during the production of I Wanna Hold Your Hand, a stunt involving a woman falling down the stairs was scrapped at 338. The reason? An extra $500 expense. Steven Spielberg, backing the decision, declared the studio could invoice him for it, but the bill never arrived. Interestingly, within the film, a scene unfolds where Ed Sullivan announces next week's acts post the Beatles segment. He reveals it will be Will Jordan, a performer adept at impersonating Sullivan himself. It's worth noting that I Wanna Hold Your Hand was one of two Beatles-themed movies released by Universal Pictures in 1978. The other film, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, shared the spotlight during that year. These behind-the-scenes tidbits shed light on the pragmatic decisions made during the movie's production, offering a glimpse into the financial considerations and interplay among characters, both on and off the screen, as the movie navigated its course. As the curtain falls on this cinematic journey, I hope the vivid hues of nostalgia have painted your memories with the enchanting brushstroke of I Wanna Hold Your Hand. This 1978 masterpiece isn't just a movie, it's a time capsule, a vessel carrying the essence of an era where dreams soared higher than skyscrapers, and hope danced to the beat of timeless melodies. Now, as you linger in the afterglow of this cinematic gem, take a moment to reflect on the personal symphony it may have struck within your heart. Did it transport you back to the innocence of youth, where every adventure felt like an epic quest? Or perhaps it resonated with the pursuit of dreams, the chase for something elusive yet eternally magnetic. Share with us your fondest memories, your most cherished scenes, and the resonance of the characters that now linger in the corridors of your mind. Let your thoughts be the echo of a shared connection, transcending time and space. This isn't just a movie, it's a shared experience, a conversation starter, a bridge between hearts. As you navigate the labyrinth of your emotions sparked by I Wanna Hold Your Hand, remember that your voice adds to the rich tapestry of collective reminiscence. Share your thoughts, let the echoes of your reflections harmonize with the countless others who have been touched by this cinematic symphony. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and celluloid. Your presence enriches the narrative, making it a living testament to the enduring magic of storytelling. Until we unravel the reels of another enchanting tale, may your memories of I Wanna Hold Your Hand continue to play like a cherished melody in the soundtrack of your life. Gratefully, 